Okay, I'm live. What's up guys? I'm back. I'm always back. Um, okay, so today I'm here to talk to you guys about my current skincare routine and just like updated favorites, I guess. I'm not wearing any makeup today, except for a little bit of like lip gloss, a little bit of lipsticks. Um, but yeah, my skin is doing way better. I have had like zero breakouts this past month, so that's awesome. Um, I just, after I cut dairy, my skin was purging really, really bad. So <clears throat> after I cut dairy, like I was getting a bunch of cysts and I was like, this isn't gonna work. Um, you know, I might have to go back on Accutane, but so far, I think so far so good <laughs> because it's back to how it was before. So I'm hoping that that was just like a little fluke, you know, that happened. Anyways, okay, so I'm here to talk about my skincare routine and I'm gonna start with my cleanser that I use. And the ones, I kind of go back and forth. The ones that I like to use are the, well I guess let's start with this one. This is the Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser from Neutrogena. And this cleanser I used while I was on Accutane. I've used this for probably like the past two years, maybe, ooh, hello, <laughs> two and a half, three years. And it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's a good cleanser. It's a, it's the bomb.com. Takes off most of my makeup, like waterproof mascara, It'll take off most of my lipstick. And so I really don't feel like I need that much of an extra step once I do this. Um, and like I, like it says, it's for sensitive skin. So yes, works well. And it's kind of a little bit hydrating too, but it doesn't leave your face feeling like greasy or anything like that. I think I said this before, it leaves it feeling clean. I don't know if you guys have used cleansers like that before where you rinse it off and you're like, wow, it feels like I have like a layer of film on my face. No, this is not like that. It leaves your face feeling good and clean. The other one I like to use, of course, is vitamin C. <laughs> um, it's the Essential C Cleanser from your Myriad. It's a vitamin packed cleanser. Yeah, it removes environmental impurities. So I really like this one a lot and I can tell with this one, um, it helps to fade spots as well, I think, because of the vitamin C that's in it. I think it has vitamin C, E, and A, so it really does help prevent and protect against environmental damage. And I just, I've always been a fan of Murad. I really like this line. It's really good. Um, if I do use a makeup remover, wait, let me see. Okay. Is there a way to see comments? Maybe there's no comments yet. Okay. Um, if I do use a makeup remover, I use this. It's the Simple Micellar Water, and this one is also infused with multivitamins. Um, sorry the lighting keeps changing. It's like about to storm outside, so it's like kind of spooky. It's a spooky. Um, but yeah, this one is really good. It, I don't know, other makeup removers, like I don't know if you guys have used micellar water or not, but other ones I feel like again, leave your face greasy or, or you can see that separation in it. This one's not like that at all. It's literally just like water. Like it doesn't have that feeling after you take it off that it's like um, greasy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I've used other micellar waters too. I, sometimes I go back and forth between this one and the Garnier, 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 <laughs> Garner. <laughs> that good old Garner. Sometimes I go back and forth between them two. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I really like both of those. And the one by Garnier I think is with the pink cap because the blue cap also has the like the separation that I'm talking about in it, so. Uh, next, the toners that I like to use. Um, okay, so you guys have probably seen this before on my Instagram, but I like to do the apple cider vinegar mixed with the witch hazel mixed with water. So it's half this, half this, and then one whole part water. Does that make sense? So like one teaspoon this, one teaspoon this, two teaspoons water. Yeah. Um, but witch hazel is awesome, especially for cystic spots. You can tell it definitely like reduces the size and severity and like the inflammation. It even says on here like it's it can be used yeah on wounds and minor cuts because it helps to reduce that inflammation and it works deep underneath your skin. But witch hazel is really good too because it's like a more natural solution. I know that a lot of toners have really strong like 
uh, sturgeons in them, but it's not like that, girl. This one's really good. Yeah, gently and naturally cleanses without moving essential moisture. There you go. And then, of course, apple cider vinegar. Um, I mean, it's the same thing. It's just more of like the natural, I guess, way to go. But I wouldn't put this straight on your face. I would definitely mix it with water. Because I think if you put it straight on your face, that might like be too much, you know, too potent, too strong, girl. Um, but I've also heard of people taking shots of this. Have you guys ever tried that? I've never tried it, but I've heard if you take like a shot a day or something that it's supposed to like help with your digestion. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, oh, okay. Now I can see comments. Uh, Raphaelia. Thank you, girl. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I feel like it really like it looks way less inflamed since I stopped eating dairy. I need to do more research. I don't know what's in dairy, but apparently it can't be good because my skin has not looked this good in a long time. And yeah, pretty happy about it. So thank you, thank you. Um, and the other toner, well, toner, I don't know if it's considered a toner, but you can use it like under makeup or over makeup is of course the vitamin C beauty elixir. This one's just like super refreshing. It has um, aloe in it, so it'll help to calm the skin. And I really actually like to, that makes sense, because I really like to use this after I work out or if I'm just like out in the sun sitting out, I'll just spray it. Um, for my moisturizer, so I go back and forth between three different ones. So during the day, I like to use the aloe vera oil from Banish. And this is literally, it's just straight up aloe vera. Yep. And I mix it with the vitamin C cream. And I also use the vitamin C cream at night. Um, this is awesome. I don't know, I don't think it says on the website, but I asked them before. It has 20% vitamin C in it. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty, pretty strong. Um, but I feel like it, when I put this on at night, I wake up in the morning, you can tell like your skin is like plump. Do you know what I mean? Like it looks more full and the, um, like if you have any discoloration or anything like that, it's definitely more faded. Uh, it just looks really like fresh and nice. But so at night I'll mix the vitamin C cream with the banish oil. And then during the day I'll mix the vitamin C cream with the aloe vera oil. There we go. Um, but if I don't do that, because sometimes I know like you're supposed to have SPF. I, I don't know. I think I might be allergic to SPF because every time I put it on my face, I feel like I break out. Maybe. I don't know. Is that a thing? Does anyone know if that's a thing? Um, but the Andalou Naturals, this is another one that I like to use. It is the age defying and I know it has... Yeah, it's fruit, stem cell, and bioactive eight berry complex to help defend against UV environmental damage, and it also helps to stimulate healthy cell renewal for age-defying benefits. Yes, that is what we need, age-defying benefits. Thank you very much. I like this one because it's lightweight and it doesn't have a strong smell to it. Um, it's super sheer, like you can wear it under makeup or just like wear it by itself in. It just doesn't feel like you have anything on. I really like that because I hate, I just, I haven't been wearing makeup a lot lately because I don't like the feeling of just, you know what I mean? Like there's so much, if you're like liquid, I feel like gets really thick throughout the day, like thicker and like greasier. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it feels like you have nothing on. That's why I like this one. Oh, thank you, girl. I love Banish products too. Can you use vitamin C on your skin on your last month of Accutane? How do you deal with redness? Because my skin gets so red when I'm out in the sun even though I sunscreen my face. Um, I wouldn't use, I would wait until you're comfortable with it, but I wouldn't use any products while on Accutane. The only thing that I used was the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin and this. That's the only two products I used while I was on Accutane because it, 
I think what my dermatologist said is like that it can interfere with the healing process if you are putting like too many things on your face. So you kind of just want to like let it do its thing and then once you're a couple months post then you can start worrying about the scars and treating the scars more aggressively. And that's, I mean a couple months post Accutane is really still, it's not, like you're not going to be waiting forever, you know what I mean? Um, but I would definitely wait because your skin is so sensitive and Accutane like thins out your skin. Um, and yeah, it will get red out in the sun. I've been off of it for a year now, and I still get really red out in the sun. Like, really red. <laughs> so, um, yeah, how do I deal with redness? I, I don't. <laughs> I just, I let myself get red. <laughs> and then people ask me, why are you so red? So yeah, I guess I don't really do a good job of dealing with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would definitely wait just like probably a couple months after and then you could start treating it. And then another thing that I like to use when my skin's really dry, and I was actually gonna try this in the SPF version, if my skin's okay with it. Um, this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin. And what the um, Clinique, oh, it's like storming outside now. What the Clinique um, representative told to me told to me, told me, is that this is almost exactly like the Clinique Moisture Surge, which is why I got it, because it's half the price, and literally, guys, it it smells just like it, it feels just like it, and I love it. I, it works really, really well, and again, it's super lightweight, like, it doesn't feel like you have anything on, and it doesn't get greasy throughout the day. I, I don't know, my skin is weird, like, sometimes I think I have greasy skin, and sometimes I think I have dry skin, so works good and it has the hy hyaluronic acid in it which mimics your skin's um, moisture barrier so it'll help you to like retain moisture throughout the day all right what am I on now okay okay so I feel like I'm going really fast so let me take a let me take a breather Sorry, I'm not more. I was thinking about like, maybe I should like put makeup on and put a dress on and I don't know, do my hair or something, but I feel like I always do the lives on the days where I don't, I don't know. Not like I don't put anything into my appearance, but kind of, but I feel like that's what makes it more real, you know? <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. Oh, thank you, girl. I appreciate that so much, Valerie. You're so sweet. Um, after Accutane, you can still wear makeup. Yeah, I'm just lazy. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely still wear makeup. Um, yeah, yeah. You can. I mean, you can wear it on Accutane too. There's nothing against that. Um, yeah. Okay. Spot treatments. These are my favorite for spot treatments. I like to use the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil. It is amazing. It's the bee's knees. Um, I actually, <laughs> thank you for the heart, whoever that was. I actually think that it smells good. I don't know. I don't know if that's normal. It smells good. I like it. It smells like tea tree oil. Um, and it'll help to reduce the spot. Literally, like, if you keep putting it on, like, I had just, like, a tiny white head right here. And now it's almost gone. And that's only been, what, like 10 hours? So I, I really like this stuff for like smaller bumps and like little, you know, the under the skin clogs, not the cysts, like the tiny ones that won't come to a head and you're like, what is this? This is really good for that. Um, the second thing I like to use, this is for cysts. And I mentioned this last time, this is the only product that I have found besides, there's another one by Renee. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Renee, Renault? I don't know. But this is the Mario Bedeshu Buffering Lotion, and this is actually specifically designed for cystic spots. Yes, this is the only thing that I have found that is designed for cystic spots, and it works. It works super well. It, I, honestly, it doesn't smell the greatest. It kind of just, yeah, it smells like sulfur and like alcohol, <laughs> but, it works really well, and I've noticed when I use this too, my, I feel like my cysts don't scar 
as much because they're not under the surface as much. You know what I mean? This reduces the amount of time that they're under your skin. Therefore, they're not sitting under there stretching the collagen fibers that much. They just like, just like goes away. I would try it out. I mean, it's not that, that, that expensive. If you use a coupon, it's probably like 15 bucks. <laughs> I'm a crazy coupon lady, so. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I mean, I've had this same bottle for, I mean, I don't get cysts as much as I used to, but I've had it for like three months. And you can keep putting it on throughout the day. And with this, you can put it on underneath your makeup. It's super thin. Um, do you pop your cystic acne or just leave it on with that lotion? Dude, that is such a good question. I just leave it on with this. Um, but I have had a spot that I didn't pop it, but you know, you know, girl, sometimes they just have a mind of their own and they pop on their own because I was in the shower one time and it was like the pressure from the steam just popped it. And so then I put this on it and then I think it went away even faster. Um, I feel like that's really, I don't know. That's such a hard question, but yeah, I do. I, I, I don't pop them unless they pop on their own. Um, but yeah, I just put it on without popping it and it actually like, it says on here that it works to get deeper and prevent future breakouts and to shrink it and reduce the redness of the blemish. Yes, and it says that you should try, I've never used their drying mask, but it says that you can use that with it and it's supposed to amplify the results. Um, but dude, okay, so, yeah. Hey, Angela. Yeah, so before even Accutane, and I guess on Accutane, my sis would pop on their own. Like, I'd be sitting there in class, and I'd be talking to my friend, and she would say something funny, and I I remember this one time, I feel like I tell this story a lot, or maybe I've just told it before, because um, it was like right here. We were sitting there, and I like felt it. I literally felt it pop, and I had like blood all over my face, and I had to run to the bathroom, and I was like, be right back. This is really embarrassing. But yeah. Um, I've always wondered with cysts if it's better to leave it or to lance it. Because, and by lance I mean like poke it with a sterile needle and get all the crap out of it. Because I left all of mine and they still scarred because the prolonged stretching of the collagen fibers had nothing to do with picking. I did not pick any of mine because I was terrified of scarring. But guess what y'all? Happened anyway. Genetics. Um, <laughs> so I always wonder like which is better, you know? I tried doing an experiment when, when I was getting cysts and like popped half of them and then didn't pop the other half. And it seemed like the ones that I popped didn't scar. <laughs> So I feel like, I don't know, maybe do your own experiment on your own face and then get back to me. <laughs> but I feel like um, if it's there for that long, you know what I mean? Maybe cutting the time shorter will prevent the scarring. I'm usually oily, but after using acne products, my skin gets dry and tight. What can I use that's sense enough for skin and gets rid of oil, but still moisturizes? Okay. Um, let's see. I like, I mean, do you want like a spot treatment or a mask? Because if spot treatment, I would use the tea tree oil because it doesn't dry you out. It definitely still leaves the moisture in your skin, but it's amazing, amazing for getting those pimples. Um, another thing which, if you can, if you're able to go to a dermatologist, this was my next spot treatment. Um, is Retin-A, leave it on overnight, and this will significantly reduce the coloration, like in a week probably, the, that's how I feel like I get mine to fade so fast, is the Retin-A. Um, the color will be gone and the size will also shrink. Uh, and this doesn't strip your skin either. And I got the buffering lotion, the Mario Betashu. Uh you can get it at Ulta. Yeah. Okay, and then the mask, oh my gosh. I'm sitting on my feet funny and my legs are asleep and it makes me want to cry because they hurt. Hold on. Okay. Okay. This is my favorite mask. Like, whew, child. This is just, it's just amazing. This is the 
pumpkin enzyme mask from Banish. And you guys know, I don't even have to say that. I'm mentioning all these other products, okay? This is my favorite mask, I swear. I swear to you. Um, but what's this having it? It has organic pumpkin, organic bilberry fruit, organic lemon, organic orange peel. What was the last one? Organic sugarcane extract. Um, it's it's amazing. It smells amazing. It feels tingly on your skin. I get so, I feel like I get compliments on my skin after I do this. Like I did it earlier, and I feel like my skin is like glowing now. Um, but yeah. I really, really like this mask. This is like the one I look forward to doing throughout the week. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do the pumpkin enzyme mask when I get home tonight. I usually try to only do it like once a week though. And then my second favorite is, <laughs> you love my hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it would have looked better if I um, did something with it. It's like kinda, uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's very frizzy, um, but thank you, thank you very much. Um, I like to use the Aztec Indian clay mask. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. You can get this on Amazon for like, I don't know, 10 bucks. Um, but this is supposed to be good for like everything. It says facials, acne, body wraps, clay baths, foot soaks, chilled clay knee packs, I don't even know what that means, and insect bites. Enjoy benefits of clay in your own home. Beautify and refresh. Well, thank you. Um, it, I, I really like this. Like you can feel your face pulsing when you use this. You can feel it sucking the oil out. And it also, I use this sometimes overnight um, to do like a spot treatment too, and this will dry it up. And with this, and, 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 and is my life, and. Um, you can use the apple cider vinegar and like mix it because it's a powder mask. That's like, ooh, there you go, girl. That's what I love about powder masks is that you can kind of like mix them with whatever you want. You know, you could use like yogurt or lemon or I don't know, orange juice. <laughs> the world is your oyster. Um, but I mix these two together actually because they both really are deep cleansing and suck out all the oil. And this one is the activated charcoal clay mask from Banish, which is amazing. I think I've said this to you guys before, but activated charcoal has the ability to absorb like 200 times, 200 times its weight in oil. Um, so this with this is just like, if you're feeling like you need a deep clean, this once a week, no questions asked. It's amazing. It is amazing. And I mix both of those sometimes too with the apple cider vinegar. I'm eager to use that pumpkin mask. I have to wait two more months. Yeah, girl. I'm excited for you too. Have you smelled it? Have you like, have you tried, like, do you have it at all yet? Is it just sitting in your cabinet? I tried to eat it. It says don't eat it. Don't eat it. It's not good. I used Accutane to get rid of my acne and now I don't ever get acne. Yeah, girl, 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 girl. I used Accutane too and my acne actually came back. Like, it's super weird because I didn't think mine would. I thought mine was like, I don't know, just like a temporary thing. Um, but yeah, mine came back like two months ago and once it came back, I cut out dairy and started making like way healthier diet and exercise choices. Um, but it does work for a lot of people just completely getting rid of it. But I guess like what my dermatologist said was 15% have to do a second course and then after that it's like 5% have to do a third course. But I'm not to that point yet where I'd want to do it again, you know. Right now I'm just getting like little whiteheads and bumps here and there and for me that's, that's not enough. And I'm hoping what was happening before when my cysts were coming back like two months ago, I'm hoping that that was just like a fluke. Maybe it was my body readjusting to like the oil coming back in my system or something. What's the best treatment or product to get rid of large pesky pores on nose and chin? Um, this one. The activated charcoal clay mask will definitely help you get rid of the 
pores on your nose and chin, or at least shrink them. Um, my friend actually, I gave her like a little sample size. I was like, here, try this, it's awesome. And she said her and her boyfriend used it. And he was like, oh my God, babe, look. And he was like, you can see all the little dots. And when he took it off, he was just amazed. And he goes, I'm gonna sleep with it on overnight. I was like, don't do that. You're gonna burn your face off. Uh, but yeah, this works extremely well for the pores. It'll suck all that oil out. All that oil and dirt. Um, do you notice that you always have spots come to the surface after using that Aztec mask? Yeah, actually, I think I talked about that on Snapchat too. Um, like a couple times when I used it, and I don't know if it was a timing or if it was using the mask because I was using it like around when, you know, my menstrual cycle started. So I don't know if it was because of that or because the mask. Um, but yes, I did notice that. I was gonna try it again. Um, and see but now I like to use it more as a spot treatment so I'll just use it on the spot where I already have a pimple and then it'll go away what would I recommend to get rid of acne scarring um, oh my god I didn't even like <laughs> I brought all of my products except for what I actually use like to get rid of acne scarring um, the Banisher, which is a derma roller from Banish. It tricks your skin into producing collagen. The products themselves will do a lot, but with the Banisher, because it gets further down in, what's it called, the epidermis? It gets further down into like the next layer of your skin. That's what stimulates the collagen production process and increases like the absorption of your products. So I would definitely, like if you had to buy one thing, I would buy the Banisher with the Vitamin C Serum, hands down. Horrible that it came back. I took it for seven months. I've been off for about two months now, it's all good. Yeah, I didn't have a pimple. I wasn't even worried about it. I didn't have a pimple for probably like, I guess it had been a year or 10 months. Yeah, so I didn't have a pimple for 10 months after. And then all of a sudden I just started getting, like I woke up and started getting cysts. I don't know. I didn't change anything, so. What do I recommend for small under the skin bump spot? Um, I would recommend tea tree oil for small under the skin bumps or spots. Um, yeah, like I said, I use this on a couple whiteheads. Like I had one right here, you know, right here this morning, and it dries them up, but it doesn't dry you out. You know, sometimes you use those products for acne that'll literally like dry out all the skin around it and then leave the spot, and you're like, well, what the heck? What is the point of that? Um, no, this is really good. It definitely leaves your skin still moisturized, but dries out the pimple and the redness and the size. Where did I buy my spot treatment? Body shop tree oil and other one. I got those both from Ulta. <laughs> you can probably get them offline too. Um, I know the brands definitely sell them offline, but, but I'm at Ulta because you can use your rewards points. Does the banisher hurt? I'm really interested in it. No, it does not hurt like at all. Um, if anything, well, I feel like that sounds painful. I was gonna say it feels like rubbing sandpaper on your face, but it doesn't even feel like that. Um, I, people have said it feels like a sunburn, like after, but it really like, if you've had a tattoo or had surgery of any kind, like your wisdom teeth out or anything, it's like, not even a one, it's like a point two out of 10. It does not hurt at all. And if you're scared, like when I saw it, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I wanna do that. Roll it like on the back of your hand first so that you know what it feels like before you go to your face. I feel like that helps a lot. I want to buy Banish, but I don't know how. Uh, go to their website. It is banishacnescars.com or you can type it into Google or you could go to their Instagram and their link is in their bio and their Instagram is Vanish Acne Scars. <clears throat> Vanish is running a promo right now. If you buy the starter kit, you get a free bottle of aloe vera oil. Do I use the aloe vera oil? Yes, I will use it sometimes as a moisturizer. I'll mix it with the vitamin C cream and then use it during the day. Um, it's Yep, I'm like halfway empty on it. <laughs> but I really do like the aloe vera oil. And I think it has 
Yeah, so it's aloe vera and vitamin E is like all that's in here. If I, okay, hold on. If I were to do the banisher rule, when should I do it? How many months after Accutane should I use it? Um, so I waited, what my dermatologist told me was six months after to do more abrasive treatments. However, I did not feel like waiting, so I did five and a half months and then I started. Um, I don't know if you guys like hear my dogs. They like hate when I'm talking to myself. I don't talk to myself a lot, I promise, but they're like going ham on the door. Um, but you wanna do it once every two weeks. You don't wanna do it any more than that because you wanna give your uh, skin time to heal and time to like reproduce the collagen that it needs. Hi, I love tea tree oil too. What's the other spot treatment named call? Um, it is the Mario Bedeshu buffering lotion. It's called the buffering lotion. Do I use retinol as well as this? You give me hope. Oh, thanks, Luis girl. Um, I use Retin-A, which was prescribed by my dermatologist. I, I don't think they're the same thing. Um, but I do not use retinol. Hi Callie, how's my scars going? My scars are going good. They definitely like are less inflamed since I changed my diet and started working out and yeah. I feel like it looks surprisingly like, I'm okay with that, it looks great. What exfoliator did I use on Accutane? I'm scared to use one, I have such flaky dry skin. I didn't. <laughs> I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to. Um, my dermatologist literally told me like don't use anything except for a cleanser and a moisturizer because Accutane is exfoliating your skin itself. Like that is why it's dry. Um, you could use like a heavier moisturizer, um, but I didn't exfoliate. I don't know. I do use the vitamin C cream from Banish. Yeah, it's awesome. I love it. I think I had one more mask back here. Yeah, so this was the last one of my favorites. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moore Mud Mask. Um, and again, because you guys know I'm a crazy coupon lady, I actually only got this one at first because it was on sale. It's usually $100, and I got it for 33 doll hairs plus my rewards points, so it was like 20 doll hairs. And yeah, I really like this mask. It's like, it smells, yeah, it smells pretty good. It's just like a black mask. Um, but this one is another good one that is like purifying and will pour, pour, pull all the oil out of your pores. Ooh. Are there any spot treatments from Banish? There aren't, but you could try using the pumpkin enzyme mask as a spot treatment. Um, I know a lot of people like to do that and I've done that before as well and it works pretty well. Thanks, Angela. I'm sorry you're sick. Hopefully you get better soon. They said I couldn't use an exfoliator, but if the skin is building up, then I could. Do you know a gentle exfoliator? You could try the, what's it called? I have it in my cabinet. It's the, I think it's the Dermalogica microfoliant. It's pretty good. Um, it's definitely gentle because you can use it like every day. It's basically like a rice powder and so like after you wash your face you use this rice powder and like you get it wet in your hands and then massage it onto your face. I think that would probably be good for you. I'm not an Accutane. Can you still recommend the Banish products? I have been using it for a while now and it seems I'm having the skin purging. Yes, I can still recommend Banish. I'm not an Accutane either. Um, I took Accutane two years ago, <laughs> but you only take it for six months, so I've been off of it for a while. Um, yeah, I definitely 100% recommend them. And if you guys have any last and final questions, girl, you are so welcome. I hope that helps you. I really do like the microfolant. But if you guys have any final questions, you can ask them now, because I gotta go plant some flowers.
I think it's the same as retinol. I'm from UK. I was going to try banishing acne. I couldn't use Accutane. I felt like a hundred year old lady. Yes. <laughs> yes, I definitely felt like that too by the end of it. I, I'm not even kidding. It took me like 10 minutes to get out of bed. I would be like rolling over like, because it makes your joints just so stiff and tired. I didn't work out the whole six months that I was on it. Like, I'm, I'm not even exaggerating. I didn't. I didn't work out. Um, thanks, Sarah. You'll get there, girl. All right, you guys. I gotta go. Hopefully, this was... Oh, wait. Oh, your skin looks amazing. Do you have roll or ice pick scars? I'm purchasing Banshee next week. I hope I get ice kits to ice pick scars. Better. Um, I have... I have rolling acne scars and like the box car scars. So mine aren't like the ice pick scars are deep and narrow, but the box car scars are like wide and um, not as deep. They're like flat. Um, and you can tell the difference because with the box car, if you stretch your skin out, then they disappear. So that's how you know like the difference. Um Super amazing foundation for flaky skin on Accutane. I used the A Cosmetics CC Cream while I was on Accutane and it was awesome for me. Um, I would also use any liquid foundation and this is probably really weird, but I went and set it with a powder. Um, <laughs> I told my friend that because she's on Accutane right now and she was like, I could never do that. And I'm like, but you have to because it literally sets itself throughout the day because your skin continues to like get drier and drier that you don't need a powder. Um, but yeah, try like any liquid or the CC cream is good.